Hey guys, Aqua12 here. Um, today I'm here to do something a little different. Um, I'm here to do a review on on a toy, a toy review. Uh, this is Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. Comes with all this, and it's a really it's a really cool toy slash game, and I really like it a lot, and I highly recommend it. For anyone who likes Mario Kart or whatever. So, here's what it includes. It includes the car, the charging cable for the car. You have to plug it into your switch dock to charge it. It comes with these gates, which you have to put in numerical order to make your own track. The, the switch is not included. You, you have to download a game on it. It's a free download. So this is how you turn the car on. You press the ignition button right here. And since I already have it paired, since I already have it paired, it will turn blue. All right, so right here it's loading. And, and a thing will come up saying that it is for indoor use only. Uh, ad adequate room for gameplay, which means you can't really do this in a small house. You can do it outside, but it's not really optimal. So this is e explore mode where you can just make the car go around and do whatever. I have it on 150cc right now. I can make it go around the house. Oh man, there's a door in the way. I can't get through it. <laughs> man. I have her cat right here, she's afraid of it. Here's me. Here's my script. <laughs> um, yeah. You have to put the gates up, like, in a circle, or however you want to do it, to make the course. I guess that is the Two goes here. Three goes here. If you have anything heavy, I suggest that you put them on the ends of the, of the gates, so they don't fall. So all I have to do now is to go to, to face the gate, press set up race, and you have a variety of options to choose from. You can create course, custom race, time trial, or grand prix. I am now on course creation. So I have to drive around my course once through the gates to make a course. Oh, I messed up. Three, four, and now I created the course. So we're gonna walk around. So my, my camera person is gonna walk around the course showing showing the cart going without the game because I don't like the thing. So yeah. Two, one, and go. On, on my screen there's coins and question blocks and mushrooms and stuff. On time trial you have to uh, get through your course as fast as you can. while trying to get a personal best record. And after you complete a race, you get coins, which then can be used to unlock stuff. Okay, so I'm just driving around normally now because you can do that. I'm trying to make it go behind here. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Oh, I can. There's her dog there, Georgia. <clears throat> she doesn't like this thing. <laughs> she tries to eat it. Come back.
Where is she? Oh. Ha ha ha. Run. Be afraid. <laughs> Where, where'd she go? Did she go in my room? So you can, um... You can make it go pretty, pretty far ways without the signal dying out. I gotta enable that 50cc right now. I mean, 150cc, which is why it's going so fast. You can make it go to 50 or 100 or 200, which I haven't unlocked yet. 50 is like the slowest speed. So I have some positives about this about this game that you that people wouldn't be able to actually tell otherwise. Uh, it's actually pretty quiet. You can barely even hear it. Most RC cars are like pretty loud, and it actually controls really well, better than like actual Mario Kart games. You can actually drift too. You don't have to necessarily drive it on a hardwood floor. You can actually drive it on on thin carpet like this. <laughs> See, you can do, even do it on this carpet. When you bump into things, there's a there's an animation for it. Alright. Okay, so I have little minor complaints of it. Um, for one, the the light on the cart doesn't really show, doesn't really tell you if it's fully charged or not. So you just have to plug it in and guess. And uh. And I also I keep running running into the gates. It's probably my fault because I didn't put any uh, any heavy things on the ends of it. So those are my only complaints. Um, but I really do recommend this to any Mario Kart lover out there, or just or just someone who likes a new experience. It's also good for younger people as well as say a young adult like myself. And you could actually, um, I think you could actually put like a flashlight on it so it has headlights. <laughs> so you can like drive it around in like the dark or something. But we haven't tried that yet though. But I do want to note that there is a Luigi one. So it's about the same price. Um, $99. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> um, my grandmother bought, bought me this one. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say. Uh, I highly recommend this this toy. Um, and I'm very sure that whoever buys it will like it. If not, then I don't know. So, <laughs> um, alright. I hope you liked my review thing. This is my first time doing something like this. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.